so you were going from you being a child actor you know you would put onto a coronation set it's insane it's weird isn't it that is well it, it mustn't be weird for you in a way that you probably can't remember a lot of that i can't remember any of it wow I'll, I'll get told stories of it yeah but obviously i don't remember it i just can't hey you can you can listen we're gonna do this last bit together okay we're gonna do it. here he is having a good look around If you don't know, like Coronation Street, probably how long ago was that? So probably only six months. So Twenty years ago. Twenty years probably, ago. Probably at its peak or just after its peak of viewership. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was like miles bigger then, wasn't it? It worked well, like just because of the way terrestrial TV is now, like yeah, and platform. It didn't have um, streaming platforms competing exactly, with yeah. it. Everyone was sitting down at what six o'clock to go watch Coronation Street back then. Probably yeah. Wow. And I you mean, were there. Wow. being from Salford as well, I think Coronation Street's like. Everyone, everyone in Salford loves Coronation. Street, yeah, it? it is Salford. Yeah, it's, it's where it's meant to be set, isn't it? I mean, it's shot here. Salford. Yeah, and that's what it is. Amazing. Yeah, a Salford story, and then mm. we're in it. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, the reason we ended up leaving, so we was in it for six months. Wow, six months. Sorry, I thought you said six weeks. I thought it might have been six weeks. It might have been six months. I don't know. We was definitely six weeks old. I'm pretty oh, sure. Okay, we were six weeks old. right. But um. Peter Barlow, who was playing my dad in it, he wanted to leave and I think go and like do other acting jobs because I think when you get in a soap, it's like you probably get a bit bored. You want to mm. go and do like, you know, the bigger yeah. stuff. And yeah, he left. So we then had to like move out of it. I think yeah. their storyline was us and our mum have like moved to mm. somewhere, Australia maybe, I don't know where. But then he comes back because he's not got any acting jobs. And then the role gets recast, and that's where Alex Bain, who plays him now, comes in. And there's just a load of like controversy over Alex Bain. Wow. I mean, everyone says like he's a wooden actor and all that. I don't watch uh, it, so okay. I don't know. So where does this controversy come from? Sorry, I haven't heard of this. I mean, the first thing is, I'm a white ginger kid. Right. And I've got some ginger follicles coming through at that yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you Maybe, I don't... Ginger. Maybe there was, but... Mm -hmm. And... Alex Bain is mixed race, so everyone's like, "What's going on?" Yeah, but so yeah, you know, it's just I don't know. Yeah, and obviously you're only six weeks old or whatever. Yeah, you're not like God, guys. Sorry, you know. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> also, back then maybe it was it was less of a concern or you know just people weren't as aware of um what was moral and what wasn't back then yeah. i mean maybe it was just coming around maybe in the 2000s but i don't think you should that's nothing to do with you that's the kind of yeah i've for. literally not done anything towards that yeah. like, i didn't decide to do you know what cheers meeting you all I'm off. Yeah. I weren't me. I mean, you couldn't even walk at that point. Exactly. Probably. I, so couldn't, I couldn't even say anything. You couldn't even walk off set at that Cheers, point. Guys. Yeah. So that's interesting. I mean, really unique yeah. uh, start of your life. And then you're living in Salford. How mm. was that going to school then? So after you grew up a bit, after that coronation stint, still being a child actor, how yeah. was school? School was, I'd say it's a bit different in year two because obviously um there's a feature film called the awakening so mm -hmm. we was filming that for, i don't even know how long but we'd have to take days off school yeah just to go and film that i don't know what the teachers and all that thought because I, I didn't know what i was doing yeah and even you didn't even know what you're doing in school in year two mm. so i'll just be going to classes and i won't even i don't think i was even telling anyone because i didn't know what was going on mm -hmm. so i'm just off filming I, I i don't know what my family was saying with that were they saying we was ill or filming i don't know yeah do you, I, I suppose because i would just get well, in year two with teachers that bothered nah whenever i used to have to get time off school it and my mom or dad used to always say it's like a doctor's appointment yeah that's they, always they don't really say. question it but i suppose young, if you're they? working like that's really unique because yeah you are technically the one working there you know your parents probably have to get you there and whatnot that's really i mean you must have been the coolest kid in class probably back then no. Well, I'm people just didn't know it. You had ginger. ginger. <laughs>